Hey there, it's Chris from Good Roads, and last week I ran some experiments casting wax using 3D printed molds, and it went way, way better than I expected it to. So this week I'm going to use those techniques to cast myself some skate wax, and I'm also going to take a couple extra steps to make the wax a little nice, a little bougie, you know what I'm talking about? So with that said, let's give this a shot. First thing I need to take a look at is this puck that I cast last week. Initially, I thought this came out perfect, but upon further inspection, I noticed there was a void in the middle. So that's not ideal. For the build, all this means is that I'm going to choose a different style of mold other than the two-part mold I was originally planning on. More on that later though. For now we need to take this bog standard paraffin candle wax and make it into something cooler and better suited to skateboarding. First I'm going to melt it back down and then I'm going to try to inject a little color into my life. And I hope y'all are feeling your inner five year old because we're going right back to kindergarten. I'm going to be using crayons to color my skate wax. And while it might seem silly at first, crayons are just oil soluble pigment suspended in wax. It's a really dense dose of color in a small cheap package that you can get at any grocery store and it's going to be perfect for this project. I'm going to be going for a dark blue-green, so I pulled out all of the potential candidates. Got a lot of blues. I like that. I like having a lot of blue options. We're going to start with those two. Once I remove the labels, I got a chance to see how effective these crayons are going to be as a colorant. Whoa! Whoa! That's so crazy! Pigment! Can you guys see the like clouds of pigment coming up off the bottom of this thing? This is cool. This is very cool. Now, I have noticed that the color of the molten wax can be pretty different from the color of the wax when it's solidified, so I scooped a bit out and let it set to see where my hues were at. A little while later, I had a result, and that's actually looking a little light for me. So the solution is going to be more pigment. A couple more crayons and another test later, I had a much more rich dark blue-green that I was happy with. Cool. All right, so I looked up some skate wax recipes online and a bunch of them recommended having some beeswax in addition to the paraffin. So we're gonna add some beeswax. I'm being very precise here. This is an exact science. The wrong ratio of beeswax to paraffin wax will create a black hole that will engulf the world. So I'm measuring super carefully, just, just very, very carefully. Yeah, right, next. What else can we do to something as simple as wax to elevate it and make it a nicer substance? How about a smell? I'm gonna try adding a nice aroma to my skate wax. And I've read the book Perfume. It's a good book. It's a weird book. So obviously that makes me an expert on scents and I know exactly what I'm doing. I made myself sort of a heat resistant tea satchel thing by folding this bit of window screen into a cone and clipping it closed. I also bent myself a little hook, and I can use that to hang my basket from the rim of my pot of wax. The next thing we need is some nice smelling stuff. And I'm aiming for something that smells like a bottle of beard oil that I have, and to that end, I'm gonna start with some lemon. I'm only gonna be using the skin of these fruit because that's where the citrus oil hangs out, and I think that oil and my wax should play well together. Like I said, I know exactly what I'm doing. My other smell ingredient is something a little different. This is pipe tobacco, which I think smells amazing. And since you hear tobacco come up as a tasting note in wines and spirits and stuff, I think other people agree. So some tobacco and some lemon go into my basket, and then my basket goes into my wax. What? What is that? What's boiling? Lemon juice? Probably lemon juice. That's intense. This isn't even turned up that day. My, my burner's on the absolute lowest setting. Ooh, but I can already smell things. Ooh, and it smells good. I took my time lowering my botanicals into the wax so that I could keep that bubbling in control. And then I let it steep basically until the bubbling stopped. I wanted to make sure that the smell would actually come through if you used the wax as skate wax. So I poured a little test sample into one of the simple molds I made last week and let it cool. 
and then uh, rubbed it on some stuff. You know, like it was a ledge or a rail. Ooh, yeah. Oh, man. Oh, that smells nice. Yeah, totally. I was surprised. I thought it was going to smell like pine because because this board's pretty fresh. But you can totally smell the wax. Ooh, that's nice. That's nice. It's very subtle. It's a very light smell. But yeah, you definitely, definitely get a little bit of citrus, a little bit of tobacco, a little bit of caramel, which is coming out of the tobacco. And actually, just a little bit of honey from the beeswax. That's nice. That's nice. And it's not, you'd have to go looking for it. It's not like you'd wipe down a rail and your whole park would stink up. But if you were carrying it around in your bag, for instance, uh, it'll make your bag smell real nice. So that's cool. Let me melt this back down and we can, uh, we can pour it into a mold that's more, uh, more purposeful. And if you're wondering, yeah, I kind of do just have wood all over my house. And just as a side note, I'm not overselling the smell here. I like it so much that I poured myself a candle out of this wax so I can keep my abode smelling oh so nice. Sweet. With our wax done, we can finally come back to the mold. This is the design I came up with. It'll cast a nice chunk of wax with cutouts for round rails and square ledge edges. It's got seams on the four corners to make it easy to demold the wax and an open top to help avoid cavities as the wax cools and shrinks. I'm using binder clips again to seal it up, and once that was done, it was time to pour. A little while later, I can pop open the mold, and we're looking real nice. Now, as I have mentioned frequently on this channel, I'm not actually a very good skateboarder. I, I can't grind. But it wouldn't even matter if I could, because we've got about 10 inches of snow where I live right now. Not, not the best skating conditions. But I've got a huge pot of wax, I can print myself some more molds, and maybe I can cast a couple bars, send some to the homies, send some to the folks who support on Patreon, and put the rest up in the shop, and you guys can tell me if the wax I made is any good or not. It, it should be just fine. At the end of the day, it's it's wax. Wax is wax. So that's going to be it for this week. If you want to see more awesome DIY board sport projects like this, just go ahead and click subscribe. If you've got questions or comments, you know where to leave them. As always, I love having you guys along for the ride. So until next time, I'll see you soon. Oh, it's too cold to smell. I can smell it, but it's very cold. I have only one a burning desire. Let me stand next to your fire. Let me stand next to your fire. Let me stand next to your fire.